Hey, did you ever have one of those frustrating days? Well, I have. So what do you normally do? Well, a lot of you would probably go home, talk to your wife, talk to your friends, that type of thing. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go out. I'm going to talk to the shirt. <laughs> yes, indeed. It's uh, 18 degrees out here right now. And I'm really curious to see how it's going to start. I did not go and uh, turn on the heater in the back yet. I think I'm going to do that. I just might drive in the back. I'm going to warm up at least so it's going to go okay. So we'll hop on in. It's cold outside. So, this is, our, again, a diesel motor, so we do have to wait for the glow plugs to go. I'll try to turn this and see if he can go. Turn it here. Wait for the glow plug that'll light up there to shut off. So what it's doing is heating the diesel. I unfortunately have only have summer in right now. Let's see if she'll go. She's trying. And she is going. So, a couple of different things we can do here. I'm gonna go in the back and turn on this heater. So again, how this heater works is all I do is turn this. I'm gonna crank it all the way up. Turn off this light again, it's easier to see. Oh, the joys of technology. Unfortunately, I shut off the video before I left before, so I'm kind of a, a little bit farther than I was hoping to be, but that'll be fine. We'll make do. I'm going to try to switch the camera too, so I'll be back with you in one second. So here we go. We got a brush pile in front of us. Kind of went all over this stuff already, so forgive me, but here's a brush pile. It's about, I'd say, two and a half feet tall. We'll just drive over that. That's all this line. And we did walk drive down here already, but we'll do it again. So I can let see what this thing looks like. And I've already said it before, but this is the first time that I've really driven on this when the ground is practically frozen. It's not frozen yet. And I'll tell you what, people, it is cool. It turns so easy now. Much easier. I knew right away when I got this thing it was going to become more of a winter thing, but I played quite a bit in the summer. Uh, I just had last. So, not go this way. Let's go this way. Let's go. four feet. So we just drive that up and then drop it off. We'll spin around right here. I don't see a heck of a lot. 
lot of difference between the bright lights and the regular lights. That is supposed to be bright. That's supposed to be dim. I think they're about the same thing. Makes them go wider though. I think that dim. The brights are just all in the center. So again, here's our brush pile again. I do have the window closed too. All that other stuff and holding on to this camera is too much of a pain to shut the window and hold on and so forth. There's little stuff to it. Those crap over there, little stuff. So again, we got some deer tracks that are back here, a couple of mouse tracks, rabbit tracks. Put this driver right back into the old shed. That relaxing. And look, I turned around on here, didn't dig up the grass at all, really. Might have given her a little shade, but that's okay. out here the other half goes inside of that engine compartment that's heating that thing up and I have not burnt all the summer fuel out of this thing yet so it's good to just kind of waste a little bit which shuts off any auxiliary stuff. What's interesting is apparently some Sherps that would also shut off that Wabasco heater. This one, it does not. The Wabasco heater continues to go on until it gets rid of all that heat um, inside of it. So I kind of like that. I don't know if, yep, it does still have air coming out. Coming out. Well, you can hear it. So. Inside of here, you can hear the air actually blowing right in to the engine compartment. I can feel a little bit warm, not a lot. No. Okay, hope you enjoyed it. Take care. Let me know if uh, you like it, and uh, if you did, please subscribe. It really helps me out. Really appreciate it. Have a good one.